Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React Native. So today we are going to learn about the React Native Swipers. That is very, very important in any of your React Native application that can be used very much. So let's see how we are going to implement it. Before that, those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here I have created some of the demos to showcase you. So see, we have a swiper part, right? here you can see that it can be used whether you can add the images whatever you can add you can add very simply i have added the text i have also added the images also i will show you right now okay so this is the first part second part if i'm going to comment this one and uh, uncomment the above one okay so here i have made export this and uh, import this one okay so i'm going to uncomment this save this now you can see the different one, right? Here you can see, you can set the image accordingly, right? One last, I have also added this one. So let me proceed with that one also. Let me comment this and again, just go for down this one. Last one, I guess it is for the number. So here you can see that the by default, you can see there is a number. By default, for the arrows, it's not showing the arrows, it's showing the number one, two, three, and four. So if you want such kind of swipers, you can you have to use the React Native Swiper. So let's go for the plugin NPM package, what exactly it is. So let's go for that one. So here we can go. So it is React Native Swiper, this plugin that you need to install. Okay, and the rest of the code I'm going to add it because here just here they have the something small description over here. Just you know to add this one. After adding this, there is a import functionality that is called import swiper from the React Native Swiper, right? And this is the style sheet for that one. And here we have the export class swiper component. This is the component you can see. Swiper. Here we have a text one, text two, text three. Okay, so you can just directly copy and check whether it's working or not, right? So I have used this one, but in a different way. So let's check out the three of them which we have shown us to so let's see so first uh, let's moving to the step by step so this is the number one okay so here we have the width uh swiper here and here this is the styles okay so here dimensions dot width let's see where we i have used this width one okay so pagination style position bottom right pagination text so let's see render pagination so we have uh, because you can see that we have a pagination format that is one two three four out of the total right so this is the calculation part like pagination text plus index plus one whatever we have images we have and we are just indexing with the plus one so that it will showing out of the total part you can see that you can see the out of the total and the rest of that one there is a swiper and the render pagination you have to pass the render pagination here so that it will go there if you want to loop it again and again so you can make it true one right in the view, we have passed all the slides over here. Then the text would be the number of lines. That should be the one, one here. You can see that. Okay. And here we have added the multiple images over here. You can see that. First of all, there is a view wrapped in a text and the image. Okay. And the, on the top of it, we have already added the number, like the pagination number, where we have added the styling also. This is uh, the loop part. You can see that render pagination. So here we have, when you click on the render pagination, you can see that there is a view and we have already set this pagination style with the absolute bottom text, whatever we have already added here, pagination text, which should, it should be the absolute position. So this is setting the position part, right? So I'm going to comment this one and moving to the simplest one. Okay. So this is the pagination part that we have discussed. Okay. Moving to the next part that we have go with the next one simple one that is the top i have added the simple sliders okay so i'm going to comment this and save this so this one you can see so where it is so here you can see that the swiper it's very easy and very simple uh, i will because the code is already there so you can see that swiper here okay and uh, and here you can see that the slides are auto play okay the slides are auto play so you can see that if i go and check this one so i have not, not doing nothing it's swipe up automatically right so it's auto play okay and uh, after this one uh, what we have added extra 
I think nothing. So you can just you can see that this is the only function that is already available here. So you can try and any query any issue you are getting on just let me know in the comment section i'm going to try to solve it okay so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like the video of the react native swiper please share your feedback thank you have a great day